Hello and welcome to another Masters of Boredom Sunday night board games and chill stream. We got something very special for you today this time. With me, uh, this time, a few more faces. There we go. We got five people here uh, and you should be seeing our, our Discord now. And up above me is Augie. To his right is Stevie, who some of you may know from BFYTW Podcast. To my right is CJ. He was usually here, and down beneath us is uh, is Zia's Eternal. Actually, do you, do you want to just go by that name? It's up to you. I mean, either way. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, so uh, we got a few more people than normal because this game requires a few more people than normal, and let me show you what I'm talking about. This is my uh, prototype, so to speak. Uh, it's a very, very early prototype. I literally, <laughs> literally whipped this uh, tabletop simulator version up during a lunch hour. But it requires <laughs> only a few cards to play, so it's, it was really simple. Um, okay. This is Danganronpa Deadly Duplicity, and one of our five players here is going to be the Blackened. They are the killer, and they are the, pl the, the player that the remaining players, the Spotless, are looking to uncover. To do that, uh, they're going to have to uh, do a little mini class trial with players giving statements and the other players interrogating them about those statements and trying to determine whether they're true or lies. If they're spotless, they'll be honest about whether what they said was truth or lie, but if they're the blackened, they're going to uh, reverse it. So if they tell a true statement, they will claim, once the interrogation's over, that it was a lie. And if, the, if, they, if they told a, a statement that was a lie, they will claim that it was true all along. So the players are going to have to figure out who is, who is fibbing about their fibs or, or <laughs> about their truths. Um, at the end of two rounds... Uh, during which you can get alibis for getting the most points, uh, which, if you're spotless, mean that you are free and clear and people can't vote for you. But after two rounds of play, we will all take a vote. And if the spotless players manage to vote, the majority vote for the blackened, then the spotless have won. However, if they have voted for anybody else, then the blackened wins and the players have lost. So let's get to it, shall we? Interesting. So uh, I told the players beforehand, well, some of them, unfortunately, <laughs> that instruction did not uh, get to everybody. Earlier. <laughs> yeah, I told everybody to prepare two statements ahead of time. Uh, some of us have ours, and if need be, we'll, we'll go with those first. Uh, but first things first, we need to figure out who is uh, among the good and or the bad. So there are five players. I'm going to take four spotless cards and one blackened card. And I'm going to shuffle those bad boys up. Okay. And then I'm going to deal you your identity card. Nobody should be able to see it but you. Um, and I'm going to ask uh, the remaining players here, if you happen to be on the stream, please close it. Oh, okay. If you want to keep an uh, eye on chat, you can pop the chat window out and leave that open. But if you watch well. the stream, you'll be able to see what card <laughs> I have. And that's cheating. <laughs> Especially if I turn out to be the black, and then it's really cheating. Um... But, uh, yeah, so has everybody closed the, the stream window? Yes. All right. Yeah. So I will now deal a, 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 I'll deal an identity card to each player, and this is yours. So that should okay. tell you whether you are spotless or the blackened. And that's all you really need to know. The blackened now knows who the blackened is, but the spotless should have no idea who the blackened is, and we'll leave it at that. So I'm going to put those aside. Those are done. Uh, that was the uh, that was the hard part. Now it's on to the first round of statements. We're basically going to take turns reading off our first statement. And then after a player has read a statement, everybody else gets to ask one question to try and get to the bottom of whether or not the statement is true or a lie. Um, and after <clears throat> all players have had a question, then uh, all the players will vote on whether they think that statement was true or a lie. Uh, and, uh, I'll get to that part when we get to it. Um, so who has statements prepared and who is still working on them? I've got, I've, mine. Got, I've got a few prepared just in case. Stevie, you got yours? I certainly do. Uh, so I you just... to... <laughs> yeah, I, I... I mean, all I gotta do is, all I do is tell you, uh, uh you know, basically it's, it's a true or false statement depending on my yeah. role. Yeah, everybody, okay. everybody put together two statements. They could be either truth or lie. I left it up to them. 
you can randomly determine it, whatever you want to do. That's up to okay. you. But in this case, I just said, pick what you want to do. You want to do a truth and a lie. You can do two lies. You can do two truths. It's up to you. Okay. Um, so why don't we, uh, get, <clears throat> Z is eternal is the newest to this. So you literally found mm. out how any of this is done like five minutes ago. So why don't we start with me and then we'll go, uh, clockwise around the table. So, uh, I will read my first statement and my statement is I once tried to play chess with a ghost. I once tried to play chess with a ghost. So, uh, we'll go around the table. Uh, CJ, would you like to ask me a question? Um. Oh, I should put the, uh, at this point we should definitely see our faces. There we go. Yeah. Should I just pop over to Discord to stare at each other then? <laughs> yes. Well, that's what okay. I got. I got this one. Uh, yeah, oh, that, you that, handsome gentleman. Look at you help. all. That might help. But I've, I've put us on the stream as well now so that people okay. can see our smiling faces. So all right. Not, I, will, I will say again. it again so everybody can see me say it. I once tried to play chess with a ghost. How old were you? Um, I would have been 20. Is that okay. it? That's that's your question. All right. So next player is Augie. Augie, what would you like to ask me? Uh, was the place you were at you believe to be haunted? Yeah. Uh, I had been told uh, that the the um, I'll just I'll just basically give the the brief rundown of it. I was in theater school at Niagara University, and uh, they. There was a story that the theater was haunted by a ghost who only hung around after hours because, you know, ghosts don't haunt live theater shows. They only they only haunt when nobody's around, I guess. <laughs> um, it seemed silly to me, but I just, I don't know where the idea got put in my head. I think I had a conversation with somebody and I was like, you know what? There's a chess set in the backstage. I'm just gonna, one of these days, I'm gonna put it out in the middle of the stage, like at night when I know there's no shows on and I'm going to see if the, if I'll make the first move and I'll leave it and I'll see if the, the ghost wants to play. So, uh, one day we finished, we wrapped, uh, uh, one of the shows and we cleared the set and, um, somebody said, Hey, weren't you going to try and play chess? And I was like, you know, this would be a good, this would be an opportune time. You know, the set is clear. There's not another show for a couple of weeks why don't we give it a shot? So um, I went ahead and uh, I put the table in the center. Uh, I didn't put a chair in because I'm like, ghosts don't need chairs. And <laughs> I set up the chess board and I set up the chess game and uh, I, I I played white. So I, I made the first move and I you know moved my pawn forward. And then I just left. I, I left the chess set there and I, I, I figured I'd come back in the morning and see if the ghost had done anything you know um that, that was a missed opportunity by the janitor right there uh i i yeah i i came back in the morning and i came back in the morning and nothing had happened um i i just left it there and the when i came back uh later that evening uh, it all of it had been removed i'm assuming <laughs> somebody came along and just cleared it out and i was just like uh i never really thought it was that haunted to begin with but it would have been the ghost crazy. was just like, I want to play checkers. <laughs> <laughs> Bloodwolf said, that's why they never played back. You never set them a chair. Ah, what was I thinking? It's all your fault. Yeah, makes sense yeah, now. <laughs> I'm a Mahjong man. All right. So uh, does that answer your question, Augie? Yes. Okay. Um, then I, some. Think, <laughs> I think Stevie is next. I'm next? Yes. Do you have a question oh, for me? Right. My question, because I'm taking notes, because I'm, I'm I'm trying to do better on your show than our show. <laughs> right, so, so. Good man, good man. I'm trying, I'm trying. So you're around 20. This is at the college, and it was a full chess set in the back. There wasn't missing any pieces. You were able to set the whole board, huh? Was and this was a prop? Uh, yeah, the chess set came in like a little wooden box, and like mm -hmm. all the pieces were there. It looked like it was. I want to say decades old. It could have been older for all I know. But they, they were wooden pieces. Oh, see, this is where your story starts falling apart. Because, sir, in college, props are handed down, and there is no way on this green earth 
that every one of those chess pieces could have been in that box after that long hand me down. <laughs> so I think already you're yeah, you guys know what I'm thinking. That's right, that's not like, a bad point. That's not a bad point. That's why I was like, wait, no, I'm he does that. he does have a fair point. See? I don't See? know how, how much credibility there is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking notes. <laughs> that was my question. I'm good. <laughs> All right, and last up to ask a question, Z is eternal. Do you have a question for me? Do you know how to play chess? Yes. That, that's actually know. a very that's actually question. a very <laughs> question. Yeah, that's a good question. Yeah, I mean, if, if I had just put all the pieces in like alternating colors along the board, like checkers, and yeah, I think there would have been. A it goes just like this isn't even how you set up the board. <laughs> like what? What is this person doing? <laughs> That'd be amazing. All right. So everybody's gotten a chance to ask a question. Now it's your turn to vote. We'll just go around the table. CJ, what do you think? Was I telling the truth or telling a lie? Uh, this is important because for every incorrect vote, I get a point, and it's the player or players with the most points at the end of the round who get a chance at an alibi. So, oh, okay. Uh, so uh, CJ, what do you think? Do you think I was telling the truth or was I lying to you? You you had a lot of I, either you spent the whole day thinking about your story, or because you didn't just make that up the top of your head and you didn't read a card. So I think you were telling the truth. Okay, one vote for truth. Augie, what do you think? It seems plausible, um, because you know reasons. Theater kids uh, are weird, you know. Theater kids are weird. They are the weirdest. Uh, so I would have to say yes. I think you're telling the truth. Okay, that's two votes for true. Uh, Stevie, what do you think? I've known you for so many years, <laughs> and I know when you're lying, and I know when you practice things to pretend when you're not lying. Oh. So I believe that this is a farce all you guys everybody here at this table you really right think now, so I, I really do i have a feeling he's he's been practicing okay. it so I, I, I believe he might have he might have spent all day telling the story to himself i don't know i, I, I think so i i do but I, I could be wrong but it just seems it seems like he's been practicing it so all i'm right. gonna say aaron you're lying all right so two votes for true one vote for lie uh z is eternal how would you like to vote i'm also gonna vote for you as being a liar sir Ooh. Ooh. Right. Based, off of, based off of there not being any janitors at any college that actually fucking clean <laughs> <laughs> that's that's also a very good point that is a that is a uh all right so i'm gonna get two points either way uh so yay me uh but i can reveal uh now here's the important part if I'm the if I'm spotless, I will now tell you the truth about whether or not this was true or a lie. If I'm okay. blackened, the blackened player must flip it around. So the blackened player has to tell that a true statement was actually a lie or that a lie was actually the truth. So I will tell you now that that statement was a lie. I never oh. actually tried to play chess with a ghost. Um, what I did was I talked about it and joked about it. Never actually did it. Never actually did it. Oh, oh, that so, was that was good. So uh, I have two points. <laughs> I have two points under my belt, and you guys may start to have an idea about whether you think I'm the spotless or the blackened. Let's move on to the next player, CJ. It's your turn to read one of your statements. Uh, let's see here. Let me just get my script here. Um, <laughs> script. <laughs> script. I once stole a shopping cart. Whoa. Oh. Okay. All right. Uh, we'll start with Augie. Augie, would you like to ask a question? Hmm. <laughs> hey, yeah. What would, what would you ask him that? Uh, I, I, I might consider starting with asking him, you know, what were the circumstances that caused you to steal a shopping cart? I mean, what are the circumstances <laughs> of stealing a shopping cart is really the question. <laughs> But, You're basically asking him to tell the story. Yeah. 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 That's uh, fair. I mean, well, yeah, 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 yeah. So, so, and and this is this is gonna be difficult for you to imagine, Augie. But once upon a time, there was a thing called the '80s. Okay, <laughs> way before you. Oh, the '80s. Those were two years before my time. <laughs> there, um, there was a a supermarket downtown, um, <laughs> located very close to a very very steep hill. And uh, some oh, friends and I, going. 
some friends and I thought it would be uh, a good idea to acquire a vessel with some wheels and, you know. <laughs> and we did. Jeez. And uh, it didn't pan out very good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not, right. not made for high velocity. <laughs> no, that's the so, did that? Did that answer your question? Yes. Okay. Stevie, you're up next. Oh, shopping cart. Okay. So once you acquired this so-called shopping cart mm-hmm. from this so-called place, I think I know which place you're talking about. I think so. you do. <laughs> I'm, I'm not surprised because I've done shit like that. We're, we're all from the same town, so I we know. all know. Yeah. <laughs> Except for Augie because he wasn't around for that store. No. Yeah, he wasn't there. Um. What did you guys actually do with the shopping cart, like while you had it, and then to dispose of it? Like, what did you do afterwards? <clears throat> Once we wrecked it, about three quarters of the way down the hill, <laughs> a police officer was coming up the hill, <laughs> made us walk it back to the top of the hill, and put away <laughs> shopping carts for two hours. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Scraped, awesome. bruised. It was. It was. It was the best. But yeah, it's amazing. Okay, fair enough. Fair it was enough. A good time. <laughs> All right. Uh, Zia's eternal. Would you like to ask a question? <laughs> I will ask, even though I. What was the name at the time of the supermarket? <laughs> <clears throat> Super duper. I fucking love that story. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> All right. Is that even a, is that even like a national chain or is that like strictly local? It might have been. It sounds strictly local, local, actually. I, I, by the time I went other places than our hometown, they were already out of business. So I don't know if they were actually a chain or anything. <laughs> Could have been anything. Uh, and my question is going to be: um, if you. If you had gotten away with it, what would you have done with it? The plan was to ditch it in the canal. (laughs) But we didn't make it that far. (laughs) There's a a relatively famous bridge that articulates and, you know, that was going to be the the drop zone, but uh, we didn't make it that far. (laughs) That would have been a big splash. (laughs) Yeah, we were good. We weren't planning on going in. We were planning on bailing into the grass and then All right. well, forget I, walking the car to the top. Everybody's gotten a chance to ask a question, so now it's time to vote. So, uh, Augie, you're up first. Truth or lie? You know, uh, it almost seems like the truth in a way. I kind of want to go with the truth just because, one, I could see him doing it, even now. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I, I'm too old for that shit now. <laughs> and, and two, that's very similar to stuff that my friends used to do when we were younger. So yeah, it seems it seems plausible. I think it's the truth. All right, Stevie, one vote for true. Um, it does seem very plausible. It really does. <laughs> and I've known the people he's hung out with. So yeah, I can say that I'm gonna go with truth, even though it sounds outrageous. I could see it happening, and I mean, I've not saying I've done stuff like that, but I've been around people who've done stuff like that. Hoodlums, bad yeah. people, <laughs> yeah, very bad people, very bad people, like exactly me. All right, so Stevie votes true. That's two votes for true. Uh, Z is eternal. What do you say? Um, unless drunk Chris would lie to me, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say true. Okay, so there's a chance uh, CJ's already told this story. Um, and it, it had the ring of truth from the get go. Like I genuinely believe this, so I'm also gonna say true. So that's four votes for true. So you're either gonna get four points or nothing. Uh, CJ, remembering that if you're the blackened, you must reverse it. Is this the truth or a lie? This is the truth. A hundred percent true. All right, congratulations, everybody else. CJ gets zero points for this round. I'm afraid. Oh, I thought we got four points. <laughs> no. no. He, he, <laughs> He only gets no. points for incorrect votes for people who are fools. So uh, he oh, fooled okay. nobody, but that's okay. Uh, I curse think... my predictability. Yeah. 
you know, we might have a, a better idea of whether or not we can trust CJ or not. Who knows? <laughs> In the meanwhile, uh, certainly not with our shopping carts. Um, no. Uh, we'll move on to Augie. Augie, it's time for your first statement, please. Mm. One time, and only once, with my friends, I egged a house. Ooh. Rebel. Oh, my. Oh, my. Hmm. That's interesting. Uh, all right, so, uh, Stevie, you start us off. What would you like to ask? Now, I've known the Oggy Doggy for many, many years. And he's a very, very straight and narrow kind of, like, I'm not going to get myself in trouble, you know, type of guy. So it kind of throws me off a little bit. But then I know the people that he's been around as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so... But he knows the people I hang with. And then... <laughs> I'm not saying... <laughs> Maybe, yes, actually, I, I know him, and I've known they've grown up together. So I'm actually going to go with this as being a truth. I believe Augie I did... was going to say, it's not time to vote. you got to yeah. ask him a question about it. I know, I know, I know, but I'm trying to, like, work it through. He's like, I'm, I'm selling my vote right now. Right I'm almost, I'm get almost started. Like cash. Cash. I'll tell you what, mm -hmm. Augie did go through the story of how it happened and you actually throwing the eggs. So what had happened was, uh, oh my God, the cat is going crazy. Uh, what had happened was, uh, we were out relatively late. It was like fall. Um, so it was already dark out. And um, you said late and you said fall. I just started laughing like late in the year. Thanks for the follow, Orwellia. Much appreciated. <laughs> Hoorah. I think nice. I know, I think I know who that is. <laughs> Possibly. Sweet. Is that, is, uh, that, is, that, is that Caroline? <clears throat> but we uh, we we're out walking around the neighborhood. Uh, mm -hmm. We have it's a, a really. I mean, we're out in the country, but we've got a nice little uh, like road behind us that just kind of wraps around. So uh, me and like two other guys, and one of them was really big troublemaker. Um, I won't tell. I won't say the name because I'm pretty sure he's gotten arrested multiple times by it. Like relatively recently um <laughs> but uh there was this other like family or whatever that lived on uh that same road that he didn't like uh they didn't like him he didn't like because they didn't like him messing around the neighborhood or on their yard and stuff like that so he had a bunch of uh eggs that he had gotten out of his uh fridge and He's like, hold on a second, pulls off the side, and he grabs one of the eggs and just chucks it at their roof. Uh, we were all stupid kids and impressionable, <laughs> so he started handing them out to us, the rest of the buddies, and I didn't want to throw the egg, but I got peer pressured into it. Uh, so I end up throwing it, and even though I threw it in a place that minimal damage to anything compared to everybody else throwing, still felt really bad about it. And all I remember is, like, after doing it, we all bolted, think because we thought we saw somebody, like, move across the uh, window. And we all bolted away. Oh. Oh, Damn. That completely changes my opinion of you. <laughs> yeah. I know, right? <laughs> like, blood, blood, you're not allowed to, blood, you're not allowed to help me. <laughs> <laughs> if it's who I'm thinking of, he has been. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right. So, um, so that was uh, Stevie's question. On to Z is eternal. What's your question? How old were you when this happened? Hmm. How old were we? Let's see here. It was before I moved, so it was. I had to have been twelve or thirteen at the time. Okay. Uh -huh. And my turn, I'll ask the question. Augie, can you describe where exactly your egg hit the house? Let's see here. He hit the roof. The other one hit the side of the house. Oh, I, hit, I hit, like, I hit the roof, but, like, where their chimney was. So I hit brick. Instead of, like, anything that could actually, like, chip or damage or anything like that. Okay. Okay. And, uh, CJ, you're last to ask a question. <laughs> There's a lot of plot holes here. <laughs> you, you're the most straight-laced person I know. 
You don't have friends. <laughs> what? <laughs> you don't live uh, in the country. <laughs> I mean, it's our version of a country. <sighs> A country? <laughs> a country. Countryside, wow. whatever. You're not in the city. <laughs> I'm not yeah, not in the city. Not in a rural area either. Did you did you write an apology letter anonymously and put it in the mailbox? Oh no. <laughs> okay. Just never walked close to that house again. <laughs> nah, it, it's a it's a lie. He would have definitely done that. To this day, the crime is unsolved. The crime is unsolved. All right. You belong on episode Unsolved Mysteries, you sketchy bastard. All right. <laughs> right. So, so everybody's gotten a chance to ask a question. Now it is time to vote whether you think Augie was telling the truth that he actually did egg a house, <laughs> or was he telling a lie? And we're gonna start with Stevie, who I think may have already given his vote. Oh man, I I I think Augie is straight up making this up. That's exactly <laughs> really? the opposite of what I he said know. at the start of the round. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> That's why we I started end. talking. <laughs> I had to go all through, man. I had to go through the whole scenario of Augie doing this. I wouldn't be surprised if he was there. I would not yeah. be surprised about. I that. agree. I agree with the group. Have you, have you not... seen his limp ass arms? I don't think he got that egg four feet. <laughs> Played baseball. Come on. <laughs> but I, 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 I'm thinking I'm gonna have to say this is a lie. I really, I really yeah. am. There's something that doesn't seem like it's right there. One vote for a lie. Uh, next is Z is eternal. What do you think? I am also gonna say that this is a lie. Oh, <laughs> Stone two, face lie. Two big lie. votes for lie. Um, <laughs> on to me. I feel like and I... tried to hit a roof. I feel that his egg would have hit the window. <laughs> right, right, exactly, exactly. There's no. I, I should have asked how far he was from the house. Oh, that would have been awesome. Oh, good question. <laughs> like, uh, how far I was from the house, the arc of the throw, the amount of strength I put behind it. Oh, what was the shape God. of the egg? Was it, right an egg? <laughs> was it hard boiled or was it fresh out of the freezer? Um, <laughs> oh, dear God. What do you think, Aaron? I legitimately don't Who know. The house thing? <laughs> <laughs> I I think if he was really as guilty about this as he was acting at the start of the story, he would have been able to very quickly tell me where the egg hit, but he had to think about it. He did. I, he did. I think and he didn't this... write an apology letter, so I mean, I, just, I don't think it was him. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm also going to vote lie, so that's three votes for lie, and then I'm be... CJ... See, I'm gonna be really mad if we give him four points, but I think it's a lie. Oh, wow. <laughs> everybody came down on the point of the lie. So, Augie, that's either four points or zero, depending on whether or not your statement is truth or a lie. Remembering that if you're the blackened, you have to mm. reverse it. Was this statement the truth or a lie? It was a lie. <laughs> <laughs> I was. But I was there when it happened. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that sounds right. Yep, that up. sounds right. <laughs> Well done, well done. I did not I did not give in to peer pressure. <laughs> uh, so, uh, zero points to Augie, but good on you for not egging a house. That's uh, right. <laughs> right. So I was going to have to turn you in. All right. Uh, on <laughs> 20 <we> years <laughs> later. <laughs> All right, our next statement is going to be given by Stevie as soon as he's done coughing. Poor Excuse guy. me about that. Sorry about that. <laughs> That's, That's all right, man. It's all good. So, Stevie, awesome. when, when you're ready, go ahead and read your first statement. Okay. Um, I didn't learn how to swim until my senior year in high school. Oh, wow. Yeah, pretty late in life. Okay. Yeah, all right. So, um, we will start the questioning with Z is eternal. Go ahead. You say you didn't learn how to swim until your senior year of high school. Where did Correct. you learn to swim? At Lockport High. Okay. In All high right. school. Yeah. Uh, now it's my turn. Um, why didn't you learn to swim before <laughs> that? Were you afraid? Like, what, what was the reason? Okay, there's a couple small ones and then some big ones. The main big ones, uh, when I was younger, my parents tried to get me to swim as a child, obviously. But I kept I was prone to ear infections, so I could never get through the actual swimming. 
I'd go for like maybe a week and then ear infection. So this kept happening every time swim classes were available at the Y. So I could never go. So goes on middle school. I don't care because I don't like swimming anyway. I like the land. Sharks scared the fuck out of me and I have a fear of drowning. So I avoided pretty much everything up until like, like maybe people's pools. Like I've been in your pool, Aaron, but that was after high school, as you've noticed. <laughs> Think about things like that. It was always later on. I was freaking scared. When I was in high school, my, what's the first year called? Freshman. Freshman? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, freshman year, I actually had a medical note that got me out of it. Uh, the junior year, I can't remember what I, Maybe I had a note for that year, too. Or maybe I tried and then flipped out at one point because they wanted me to jump off the diving board and I couldn't. Or maybe that was my sophomore. It was one of those two years. But I remember freaking out and then I just left and never came back. And just did other shit because I was, like, traumatized. That was their reasoning for it. So I just got to do, like, stupid shit. Like, run around up and down the fucking stairs. I don't know how there was allowed because you could break your fucking neck. But, you know, that was the 90s. Um, and then senior year, I actually started to learn more in the summer and then finished in high school. So I was able to actually go into the deep end. But yeah, it was fucking terrifying. Especially when they wanted me to try to dive, because, no, fuck that, I'm not diving headfirst into something that's concrete. <laughs> it's scary sh- stuff. Okay. Uh, next question is CJ's. I was going to ask how he avoided doing it in class, because as part of the gym curriculum. Um... <sighs> it still made me change with everybody, too, in the locker room. It didn't matter. Yeah. Oh, you still had to change. And I was like, okay, weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> but again, that was the 90s. Who knows, man? Uh, oh, man, I'm, I'm kind of stumped. as That is exactly what I was going to ask him, too. I Who? Uh, I can't. I can't really ask for a name. I... Uh... If you're asking who wrote the note, my mom did the first time, my dad did the second time, and then I know there was a call, and then so was, something else. So what you're saying is it was a forged medical excuse? No, no, I actually had a note from the doctor, but then oh, I okay. got it other times, because the, the okay. medical one was for my freshman, and the other ones, I just got them to say shit so I can get out of it. <laughs> That's fair. That's yeah. fair. Yeah. That seems like something your parents would do. <laughs> yeah, <pretty> cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Augie, you're last with a question. Mm. Man, that's tough. Uh, so you said you were it weren't it wasn't until you were like 16 until you learned to swim, right? 15. Is that right? 15, 16? No, 17. 17, 17 18? 18? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, man, I really don't have a question for this <laughs> one. Yeah. I, I no joke. I had to use uh, the fucking a flotation device for a bit when in my senior year. I mean, if I was going to throw you into the deep end of a pool right now, I'd still attach floaties to you. Yeah, I'm just like I can get <laughs> away. <laughs> the tide can take me, man. <laughs> you have no buoyancy whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, if were, his, his lungs were full of air, I don't know why he sank to the bottom like a stone, but he did. <laughs> I yeah. do have trouble floating. Like no, I know no. you do. You have no, you have no buoyancy. <laughs> There's no meat on your bones. <laughs> I had to use those little blue things, those like foam blue things. The little float. paddle boards. Yeah, because yeah. I had trouble, and then I finally I can float on my back now. I can go on my back, no problem. I'm just like ah, and I can just like I had to move though. I had to constantly be kicking slowly, but I can do it. All right, Augie, you looked like you thought of a question there. No, no, I've got nothing, okay. honestly. Right. Um, nothing. We, we can we can pass your question if you don't. Yeah, want nothing, to. nothing that's relevant, at least. All right, fair enough. So, uh, so with all the questions being done, now it's time to vote. We're gonna start with Zia's Eternal. Do you think Stevie was telling the truth or was he lying? I think that he's gonna say that he's lying. Oh, you think he's gonna say that he's lying? <laughs> <laughs> he's jumped out in front of the blackened thing before we even gotten a read on him. Oh. <laughs> interesting so okay so your vote is lie then okay one vote for lie i oh see part of me part of me thinks i remember him coming over before senior year and swimming in my parents pool but But, i mean as short as your pool is is that really swimming uh, 
I could stand up in it. It would go to here. <laughs> I mean, it's taking a bath swimming. I mean. <laughs> and you know what? I legitimately can't tell, but there was enough detail there to make me think he's telling the truth. I'm going to say true. So one vote for lie, one vote for truth, both ways. CJ, it's on you. You know, when he mentioned running the pool stairs, that was like that was an instant flashback for me because everybody who skipped swimming. But he said he said he got inner ear infections from the Y, and I mean they put so much chemicals in there. I don't see anybody getting an infection from anything. Like that, that water would sterilize anything. <laughs> I, I don't know. I didn't say I got them from the Y. I said I got them, but we went to swim lessons at the Y. I would just get them a lot. I'm going to say it's a lie. Okay. Two votes for lie, one vote for truth. Uh, Augie, what do you think? I'm going to say it's a lie. Ooh. Because I distinctly remember it was a very specific memory i don't know why it popped in my head that one time you came over to our house to go swimming with my sister in our neighbor's pool the people over there yeah and i i distinctly remember that because one i asked if i could go with you and you said no because well my sister said no because i was too young and the pool was deep and based on that time frame you would have been around 18 around the same age as my sister so I'm saying it's a lie. Okay, so three votes for lie, one vote for truth. It's either going to be three points or one point. Uh, and Stevie, remembering that if you're the blackened, you must reverse it. Was this the truth or was it a lie? This was actually a truth. Augie, I think oh, you're thinking this. Oh, 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 oh um, my. I, I, 17, 18. Because my birthday just passed, so it was April, so it was like the beginning of the year. Because I was only in high school for the first half of senior year, because I had the early break and then I was out. Because I used uh, to leave after that awesome English class where Miss I don't want to say his name, do let us watch movies, and then I would just <laughs> leave after that. Oh, I don't anymore. So I was only there for half the year for my senior year, and it was because I failed history three times because I have a bad memory, and then. The gym because i needed to have that fourth credit of gym right. you had to have all four of them in high school to get your regions yep all but right. i yeah seriously i would get infections constantly when i was a child like we would go to my aunt's house she would have a pool i'd have all the no joke i would they like i don't know how i did it because i was younger then but i would have the big donut thing around i had the arm <laughs> ones. i would have the, the just trying to keep you floating all the time and then i would jump i wouldn't would even jump i'd go to the diving board and then close my eyes and then just like pop in <laughs> <laughs> but yeah i was i was terrified and then in high school when they had that obviously I had the note the first time thank yeah. god and then after that my parents said some stuff i guess they actually talked to the gym teacher or something made some deal but i still had to run and stuff and i was like that's fine and then i had yeah. to write the pool some... stairs were brutal dude oh, dude it was horrible but it was uh, more yeah, brutal to swim in the pool because your eyes burn for the rest of the day <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's true um i actually i learned uh Early on, uh, I started to learn because I went to a Lutheran camp, and we had to do a uh, tread water thing there. Mm. So I was able to do the treading water, but that was it. <laughs> I couldn't go anywhere. <laughs> All right. We're going to stop there like that is That is a lot of that story. <laughs> <laughs> and there are things I wanted to shout out. First of all, uh, Orjuela, who just uh, who just uh, uh, followed us, uh, she is one of the Ultra Hope Girls, which is a Dang and Rumpa podcast uh, that I I back on Patreon because I very much appreciate. So it's I'm so thrilled she's here. Very uh, cool, hanging out. Uh, that makes me excited. And I also wanted to shout out Silent One is in the house. Uh, yeah <laughs> she just nice. did a couple of emojis of waving but i'm not ignoring you chat i'm just uh we're, we're doing the we're, game engr here. we're engrossed on telling <laughs> each other the, the stories. stories so uh awesome. speaking of stories we have one left to go in this round and that's uh -oh, from... how many points did stevie get stevie got three for three incorrect Ooh. votes three live votes oh. give him three big points and he's currently in the lead so he's probably gonna have a shot at an alibi but let's see what happens <laughs> when z is eternal reads his first statement 
I have dressed in skirts on multiple instances. Okay. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, if you wanted to break the game, that's a surefire way to do it. <laughs> All right. Let's let's play through the charade, I guess. Yeah, so do I, Sila. I know this one too. Um, I will ask, um, what particular outfits it, did you wear that included skirts? Like what, I, I assume this was cosplay. If so, what, <laughs> what characters were they? An original character, Sith. Original character? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. OC stuff. Is that the only character in which you've worn a skirt? That's a second question, sir. It is. Ah! Good, catch. Good catch. Good catch. It was just instinctive. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, you have to tag the next interrogator. Yeah. So, <laughs> asking the real question. So tag CJ, you're it. Um. Hmm. I, I guess Z would never lie to me. That's the important thing we have to remember. <laughs> yeah, sure. We've been doing it for too long. <laughs> Way too well. I already know. Um, well, you, can, you can at least make a good show of it. Just What is, what is your Sith character's name? You know, that's an excellent question. <laughs> and that's how i know it's true <laughs> he still does not have one i feel ashamed for that <laughs> i'm really glad about that well that confirms all the information i needed doggy go ahead <laughs> uh, well this is this is a tough one because well, tough one in terms of asking questions because uh, <laughs> Z, Z and I, well, a lot of us actually all cosplayed a, what seems like a long time ago now. <laughs> um, I guess the only question I can ask is uh, was it only exclusively for cosplay? <laughs> <laughs> Was was it a date night? Was it? Yeah. Do you just enjoy wearing skirts? Because that's fine. I mean, that's perfectly oh, fine. Dudes can do that. We're not They're gonna free. not gonna gender shame yeah. or none of that. Does an assignment count as cosplay? Oh, hmm, hmm. that's work. Uh, that's, tec <laughs> that's technically work. Yeah, that's that is that is the definition of assignment. <laughs> That is technically work, yes. Uh, oh, God, bless you, Stevie. Uh, all right. <laughs> Speaking of, I think it's Stevie's turn to ask a question. It's my turn. Okay. Uh, Z, uh, what is your <laughs> definition of a skirt? That's a good question. Thank you. Thank you. I'm trying on this show. Like I said, I'm here for you guys. I'm not, <laughs> not on my show. You sure show. <laughs> we appreciate you not phoning it in. <laughs> a skirt is any garment for the lower half of the body that does not include separate pockets for the or sleeves for the legs to go into. Okay, okay that's okay. cool. Okay. All right, so uh everybody's gotten to ask a question. Now it's time to vote. Um true, this is true. Uh does yep. my vote true. Uh moving on to CJ yeah, I'm going to say it's true. All right, two votes are true. On to Augie. Uh, true, because I think I've done it, too. Uh, yep, yeah, um, so, so have I, for that matter. I've done it. Uh, so uh, three <laughs> votes for true. And uh, Stevie, I know you've done it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah I know I have. And I was side by side with Z. So, yes, I, I, I believe this was true. I think All I was right. there. Four it was a votes. cool dream. Four votes Pretty for sure. true. Uh, well, this could be four points or zero. And remembering that if you're the blackened, you must reverse it. Was this the truth or a lie? Well, that's a good way to out yourself. Yeah. Yeah, at this point. <laughs> it is true. Yeah, yes, it's yeah. true. Yeah. Uh, for cosplay, and I, the first time, Mr. I can't say the name, Latin class in high school, we had to pick characters out of a hat. Pretty sure he rigged it, 
because all of us guys had to dress as girls. <laughs> <laughs> that's, yes. That's, that sounds yeah. 100% rigged. Yeah, that, that's that fantastic. sounds about right. That's all right, awesome. so the first round is over, so now it's time to see if anybody gets an alibi. So uh, there is, let me look up the rules here in the notebook. Oh, there's the rules? Thing. Yep. It's got yeah, the no entire bad. rules in it. So for oh. five players, there's going to be one alibi card and four blank cards. And for five players, we're looking for just the highest scoring player of the round. Okay, so that's Ooh. just going to be that's just going to be you, um, Stevie. So one, two, because Stevie got three oh. points and I got two, unfortunately. Yeah. So, oh. so we're going to put one alibi card com- with four blank cards. I'm going to shuffle those up. And then, uh, Stevie, if you wouldn't mind uh, taking the top card of that deck into your hand, just press the just... one key, or you can, yeah. I was going to say, you can just hover over it, and you can hover <laughs> over the card and press one, and it'll send it straight to your hand. I'm scared. <laughs> Did you put it in your hand? There, or... there you go. Okay, so Stevie, you should now be able to see what the card is. Um, if it's if it's a blank card, you just leave it leave it in your hand um and you have to tell us that it's a blank if it's an alibi card and you are spotless then you can reveal both the alibi card and the spotless card from your hand thus clearing your name and eliminating you from contention so if you're if you're blackened and it says alibi you have to pretend it's blank so having said all of that what did you get did you get an alibi card or a blank card stevie I've got a blank card. Okay, so keep it in your hand. Keep it hidden from us. We okay. may ne- we might we may not know whether he really got the blank or not. The rest of the cards yeah. are going to go out of the game. Bye bye cards. <laughs> and uh, we'll, <laughs> well. Do, we'll do another alibi round after the second round, but nobody is off the hook yet. So now we're going to do our second round of play. So I'll go back to the webcam screen. And uh, so now we're going to do our second statements. There are more alibis up for grabs this time around. Um, but the game is pretty much the same. So did we want to keep going in the same order? Or did we want to mix it up or what? Same order is fine. Yeah. Uh, all right. So, so I'll alibi. go first. My second statement is, I once played a stick in a school play. <laughs> <laughs> um oh. cj you're up first what was the play <laughs> the play was literally called and i'm not kidding here the man who turned into a stick oh so you were the lead that's awesome dude Good oh yeah yeah i got the star role what the hell yep yep it was it was the lead role however uh, however i have so many more questions now <laughs> It, it it was it was a one act play and as the stick my role was to lie on stage on the floor facing the audience and i had to say all my lines without moving oh my god i so hope this is true <laughs> i really do i hope this is true all right um that's uh, that was cj's question on to augie <clears throat> Ask away, my friend. Oh man, so many questions. Uh <laughs> man, how old were you when you did this play? Um, let's see. So it, this would have been sophomore year, so I would have been uh nineteen. Yeah, it, it, yeah, I would have been nineteen because I turned nineteen between freshman and sophomore year. So yeah, nineteen. Wow. Okay. <laughs> In college, he's not a slow learner. <laughs> no no this was a fourth grade production and uh I just got held back for years because it was uh, a. I, I was the only kid big enough to be the stick i was busy I was, the telling, oldest. I was busy telling fortunes and getting them right 30 percent of the time dang and but in a joke ah all right so uh yeah no this was in college this was sophomore year uh okay uh so that's augie's question stevie what do you got Oh, man. All right. I, I've been thinking hard, so I wanted to make sure I get the right question here. <laughs> so. Blood Wolf says this sounds like the greatest one-act play of all time. <laughs> it does. It, does. it sounds Gosh. amazing. You're... How, how high was the producer? <laughs> you already asked a question. Stevie, what do you got? <laughs> There's going to be some behind-the-scenes questions after this. <laughs> <laughs> 
what it turns out to be true. <laughs> what was your favorite moment about the character that you played during the actual production? <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, I mean, the dude was terrified. Like, uh, I I went from I went from like fear and shock to like you know denial you know all the stages of grief basically until <laughs> until i finally accepted it this was not a fun role to play because i literally couldn't move for 30 mm. minutes i just stayed completely immobile i got pushed around like people <gasps> people would like you know like you know t- pick up a broom and push into my back to push me along the the ground and whatnot and you know clean up um but um the that was the only movement that i was allowed basically was getting pushed along um but otherwise like i genuinely don't remember anything i liked about this <laughs> it sucked I, I i got i got pulled into um the, the 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 i can't remember his actual title at the school but tim ward was the was the acting and directing teacher there um mm. he was the professor i guess and he um, he actually sat me down and said, you have to work on your body language for this. I was like, I'm a stick. I don't move. What do you expect me to do? <laughs> so I, I don't, I, I just, I just tried to be a stick and I, I didn't know how to do that. This was honestly a miserable, a miserable play and role. So I would say there was no favorite part about it. Damn. I have another question, but that'll be afterwards. All right. Yeah, save it for many questions. Uh, Z is eternal. You may also have many questions, but you're only allowed to ask one. (laughs) How many people were in the audience for the play? Oh, um, so this would have been at the annex. So I think somewhere between 100 and 150. Like the, 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 the seats weren't wide, but there was like one stand if that makes sense um and i think there were like maybe 10 to 15 per row and there weren't that many rows but uh yeah somewhere around 100 to 150 and if i recall um the first night it was pretty full uh the second show was a matinee and that was mm, three quarters maybe so i i guess somewhere between 250 and 300 people saw me as a stick (laughs) <laughs> i kind of want to watch this play we do this if you're like no this is the worst play what was the plot <laughs> <laughs> i will answer any of your questions after we vote so uh cj you're first to vote do you God, think i was I telling the truth or do you think i was telling a lie? it's so absurd that it has to be true <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna say I'm gonna say it's a lie. I'm gonna say it's a lie. All right. Wow. One, had about it the entire time. One vote for lie. Uh, Augie, what do you think? Was this? The I want. I want it to be true so bad. I want it to be true so bad. But I have to go with CJ in this one, and it's gotta be a lie because there's no way a hundred people would sit there and watch a man lay on the floor pretending to be a stick. <laughs> it was cool. But I really want it to be it. <laughs> I really do. I know. All right, so two votes for lie. Uh, Stevie, what do you think? Truth or lie? I'm the opposite, man. I want it to be a lie because I have a feeling it's so true. (laughs) 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 I'm joking. I'm like, I wish this was so not right, but this is so something you would do and not only do it once, but do it for a second act. Oh, my God. So I'm gonna go with this being a truth. All right. So two votes for lie, one vote for truth. Z is eternal. You're last up to vote. Oh, sadly, once again, I'm gonna have to go with Steve on this one. I want it to be a lie so badly. I know. The in fact, 150 people showed up makes me feel that it's a lie. But I do know that some schools force people to True. go see True. shows. For credits for certain classes, I wouldn't. I wouldn't force prison inmates to see that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if you're a freshman at certain schools, you get forced to go to see a lot of stupid, horrible things just because they're like, "This is it's it's like an enrichment credit." 
Oh my you know, God! Way to and see yeah, yeah, if you want to pass this course, you need to, you need to go to this play about it. You being a stick. I'm like, can I suck your dick? Because I'd rather not go to this play. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, there was literally two hundred. Can I just sleep with you? I mean, <laughs> I got people, like, I, got people <laughs> I don't. I don't. Blood, right. blood. Clip that. Save Clip that, true. please. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna haunt me forever. <laughs> All right, Z is eternal has been trying to talk. Did Sorry. you did you vote true or lie? True, true. I okay. want it to be a lie. I really do want it to be a lie, but All right. I think it might be true, so I'm gonna have to go true. <clears throat> well, uh, I'm getting two points either way, so it kind of doesn't matter. But I will reveal to you that this was the truth. This actually happened. <laughs> I, he's blackened because I don't think that that's a thing. I just, I just. Can we ask you about the plot? Uh, the plot was that uh, I had, I was just a regular dude who was doing his job. I woke up one day and I just was a stick. Like I, I was in the middle of a park somewhere and I just had been turned into a stick. And that... um, and and it, it it was a lot of me like monologuing about how terrified I was, how I didn't understand how this has happened, like why, like what is happening to me in my life, you know, and people were coming in and having like scenes at the park bench while I was You were a sentient there. stick that was once a man. Yeah, basically. I'd been turned into a stick and I had no idea why or how, and I was just confused and terrified for like What part of the stick was thinking? Um, I assume the, the brain. I I I don't know. The stick brain. the the, uh, the original play was Japanese. It had been translated over. I I have absolutely <laughs> no idea what it was. I, all I think for. they meant like stick bug. I don't, I don't know <laughs> yeah. what the theme was. Like like what was the theme? Was there a nature theme? Was this an environmental? I have no idea. I just know that I had to do it, and I hated it. <laughs> I just have one question. I don't know, man. Like how how was the audience port? What did they take on it? Did they like it? Did they enjoy it? What was their take? Uh, it's middling. It would like it. It didn't get the loudest claps of the night. There were uh, there were four one acts played in a row for that show, um, and ours I think I think was the least well received. Like the, there was there was applause at the end, but I feel like it was polite applause. Like, like, like it, was, it was like Pity we applause. feel so sorry for you. Have some claps. Oh, it's over. <laughs> it was yeah it was awful um, i don't know man the the director who cast me i dearly love her her name is sojourner truth and she was a delightful girl but never the fuck again uh okay so um barring any more questions we should probably move sorry, on sorry, sorry. Okay, yeah. so uh, ah. we need another statement. Oh, I forgot to put down. That's two points for me. Uh, yeah, right, for this round. So, I don't know. That is awfully sketchy, dude. CJ, <laughs> you are up. What is your second statement? Did you not? You didn't prepare statements at all. <laughs> no, I, I was not kidding about the. You know. Uh, okay, fair enough. I I once I once made a shiv out of a toothbrush in a prison cell. Whoa! All right. Wow. There's a story. Uh, okay. So why don't we get started with? Uh, with <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tell you about the prison time, today, man. Blood Wolf missed. Uh, had to go get food. Was the sixth story true? Yes, it was. So, I know, but but I'm saying that he is the blackened. Yeah, which, which makes me think you're the blackened, buddy. Uh, all right. So uh, speaking of which, he is now going to try and sell us on that he once. What did you do? You made a shiv out of a I once made a shiv out of a toothbrush in a prison cell. Okay, so that's the story. Augie is first to ask a question. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna ask the obvious ones. I'm gonna ask. Uh, were you there for a field trip? Technically not a field trip. Um, <laughs> the local prison had just added a solitary confinement wing onto their prison, and they wanted to test the facilities out. So they invited our Boy Scout troop, and we oh. spent the night in prison. Okay, that's actually feasible, though. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> 
All right. Um, Stevie, oh, you're next up to ask a question. Um, <laughs> Blood Wolf in chat said, this got dark quick. And then followed up. And then followed this got less up with, dark? This, this got less dark. Are you sure? Because the Boy Scout thing. <laughs> so, for this Boy Scout field trip, like, did they have you bring all this overnight gear ahead of time so you knew what was going to happen and stuff? Or did you guys just sleep in this solitary... Mm -hmm. How do you have a we solitary were. cell by yourself? Because it's small. Is it a wing? Like how does that's that how work? solitary confinement works, Steve. It's one person. That's <laughs> literally with solitaries. It, it was a, it was a whole new section of the prison, mm. but it was full of solitary cells. Okay, okay. And all the scouts got, you know, individual cells. Oh, yeah, okay. but there was there was a common courtyard, and it was we were obviously isolated from the rest of the population it was like, just like <laughs> has anybody seen bob we haven't seen bob in a while oh no he got mixed up with the other group oh no he's out there lifting weights with a gang <laughs> he's already got a tear yeah. <laughs> he's teaching you how to make a shiv <laughs> All right, uh, on to Z is Eternal to ask a question. Other than a toothbrush, what things did you have in the cell with you? Um, there was lit. So just so everybody knows what prison's like, um, there was <laughs> so there was a there was a steel slab with a relatively thin foam mattress, a pillow, and a sink and a toilet, and that was it. And everything was fixed to the walls like there was no nothing in the cell moved <laughs> so but yeah, yeah there were no there were no toiletries or anything just we were allowed to bring our toothbrush all right okay Wait my a question anything. how did you make the ship i i actually got a lot of credit for this because the the guards actually appreciated me finding the two wall brackets that held the bed slab up they're down into the wall. There's actually a barb on the back side of it, and I ground my toothbrush down and <laughs> made a saw blade out of it. And when the guards asked how I did that, I showed them, and they actually ended up fixing that on all the cells. That is awesome. <laughs> so it's a good thing I went to jail. I probably saved someone's life. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, you get bored man. very fast in solitary confinement. All right, it's time for votes. Uh, let's start with Augie. What do you think? See, I, I've i been in Scouts, and this seems like an actual normal field trip because you they made you do the weirdest shit in the Scouts, I was dude. Scouts, you know? <laughs> but um, just for shiggles, I'm going to just say it's true. Okay, one vote for true. On to Stevie truth or lie this was again a little difficult um it's really hard to read you too cj this, this <laughs> is really hard to read. and i know how you love all that prison fun I, I, but, time, man. <laughs> yeah, I know but i think you more of like um more of a the the open more prison what's that called the public uh that one you want you're one of those ones i don't think you're more of a solitary type guy i know like, uh, I'm just a general population guy. Yeah, you know, Pop. I mean, that's just who you fit. Because, you know, you're, you're cuddly and stuff. I would, but, I would pay a lot of tax for you, Steve, just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I actually think this is a lie. I think... <laughs> Don't laugh. <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, boy. All right. Um... <laughs> Um, I think it's a lie, though. I think you did go to the prison with the troop to probably show you guys the cells and stuff. I don't think they left you overnight in solitary. I think there had to be some mad waivers, not just for your parents, but from, like, the state. Because that seems a little messed up. Remember, we were born in the 80s. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we were getting that. <laughs> I mean, it is plausible. Now. <laughs> Crap. What is right. safety? <laughs> Uh, so that is one vote for true, one vote for lie. Uh, Z is eternal. What do you say? I'm going to roll the dice here because I oh. know something, but I think he's going to say it's a lie. Oh, 
Okay. Interesting. Interesting. I don't quite know what to make of that, but um, uh, I will... Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, I... He came up with the response for how so quickly. <laughs> but does that mean it was rehearsed? <clears throat> but how? He just he literally just said it. So like, yeah. And he claims to have not had his statements prepared, but he could have actually had them prepared and is just faking. I don't know. Perhaps uh, he's planning around the plan that you're planning around his plan. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go with the majority and say lie. So that's three votes for lie, one vote for truth. Remembering that if you are the black and you must reverse it, was that the truth or was it a lie? It was a lie. It's a lie. Oh, well. Okay, one point for CJ, though. At least I got a point this round. <laughs> did, you, did you actually go to a prison in a scout? We did. Okay. Yeah. yeah but you did. I think I did something like that, too. Yeah. Was out. Yeah. I mean, it was one of those scared street things. I mean, <laughs> genuinely good on you for coming up with that story about the barb so fast, because I was like, wow, uh, that almost tipped me to truth. But anyway. Okay, one point for CJ. Let's move on to the next player. That's Augie. Would you please read your second <laughs> statement, please? All right. I actually have professional experience as a paranormal investigator. <laughs> that really, wow. Can anything involve a team? I was like, like, professional. professional paranormal investigator. <laughs> Because they decided that that was a profession. <laughs> when people started making money. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah, it, one, two. It, hold your questions. We'll go one at a time. So starting with Stevie. <laughs> Stevie, what is your question? Where did you get this certification slash education? So I got this certification slash education while I spent time in college taking an anthropology class. That was specifically for paranormal, uh, folklore, and uh, mythology. I got this experience from both not only learning about paranormal in all its different forms, um, but also conducting investigation uh, to the point where I had not only interviewed multiple people for uh, their paranormal experience and then compared and contrasted their uh, experiences to one another to make a uh, a comprehensive kind of like a review about it. Uh, but I actually went to a uh, local haunted mansion and did an overnight investigation with all the bells and whistles. You drank a lot of wine. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking that too. <laughs> I just did his spurs. They're in my cup. <laughs> All right. Uh, Z is eternal. You're next up with a question. All right. Um, what kind of question to ask for this? <laughs> right. Define professional. Yeah. <laughs> so professional as in... Um, <clears throat> Because most uh, most per, uh, paranormal investigators, most I say, uh, don't like do things for profit. The ones that you see do things for profit are the ones you see with shows. Um, <clears throat> professional, as in, I had gone through and did the study and the proper work to um, intelligently be able to. Uh, conduct investigations and like help people that might be having issues with what would be considered paranormal. So in like, basically people like they believe what they see and whether you think it's true or not, it's true enough to them where they actually have like problems. Like they, they're mentally scarred by it or actually physically and mentally upset by it. And I essentially gotten the experience to be able to go and not only conduct these investigations, but help them 
cope and, you know, uh, accept what's going on kind of thing. It, almost in a way, it's kind of like a psychologist um, do you, or psychiatrist. Do you, do you mind not, like, playing around the board there? Like, I don't know what you're doing, but... Oh, other people can see this? <laughs> yeah. It, it, <laughs> it, it looked like you were trying to pull my identity card. And it was like, um, let's not have any of that. All right. So, yes. Yes, we can see your hand and what it's doing. Oh, I thought I, I only had access to my stuff on here. <laughs> no. no. Uh, only, only, only you can see them as long as they're in your... To, to the rest of us, they just look like they, they have the Danganronpa back on them. But Yeah. Gotcha. I kind of wish I was taking notes now. So everyone can see. There we go. That's, that's <laughs> no, I don't think it's Aaron anymore. Stevie, can you can you email me your notes? I, I don't have your email. What is it? <laughs> All right. Ah. Uh, so that was whose question was that? Was that, that was these? These. Okay, so Z's. it's on. It's on to me. Um. So, what sort of equipment did you use while you were in this so... manner? house we used um i mean we used video cameras we used emf readers uh we had um voice recorders um we didn't have like anything like no like none of that infrared stuff none of those like uh sensors that you see a lot of shows have kind of thing um there was a there was one guy had a uh what what the, what the hell they're called they're the ones where, like, where they pick out the different radio stations, and you can maybe like, and it's like a lot of static. I forget what kind. Of, I forget the name of the sure. like a, like a police scanner or something like that, like a radio scanner. Kind of. Uh, where it looks for stations. I, I wish I could remember what it was called. I I had it in my head and I lost it. Yeah, and basically what it does is it pulls like sometimes it's mostly static and just like a lot of background noise, but once in a while it'll pull like a random word or something like that. And the idea behind it is like the spirit can use it to actually communicate and whatever. Um, we were pretty bare bones as far as equipment goes, um, just because it was a college level, you know, thing. We did have uh, uh, just, you know, flashlights and, and the like. And we had a tour guy that was kind of taking us around the mansion to make sure that one, we weren't breaking anything or anything <laughs> we shouldn't have, but also to also make sure that like we were getting to the spots where people have actually said they've seen or felt or uh, any other account of something going on. Hmm. hmm. Okay. So uh, last but not least, CJ, do you have a question? I mean, I played Phasmophobia with him. I mean, he is, he does conduct himself very professionally in that game. So <laughs> I'm inclined to believe him, but at the same I mean, time. And, and that, that indicates the professional, uh... Go or after more than anything is how. Or is he taking? Or is he stuff. taking that gameplay experience and turning that into a lie? Mm, could be. So that's why this question is important. Did you get college credit for it? Yes. Our education system's fucking broken. <laughs> <laughs> it technically <laughs> counts as a. Oh, he's gone. Oh, we lost. Uh, we lost the is eternal. So hopefully he'll rejoin us. Yeah. Yes, it counts as a social science. Oh, uh, it counts. It counts as a social science. Who are you talking to? The ghost. <laughs> it, to people, you're talking to people. Can you see what I typed? Or no? No. Uh, Discord died on you. Okay. Yeah, oh, I, I see fine. that now. Thank you. Like I'm trying, like, how do I communicate with him from beyond the <laughs> beyond the beyond the grave? Well, well, it, argue, he's a professional. Yeah, I was gonna I'm say you can you can either type directly on the board or you can uh, you can uh, uh, just. Uh, Augie will contact your spirit. Don't worry. Uh, you can te- you can te- <laughs> te- you can text CJ or whatever you know whatever you want. I think was like my, I thought my internet had gone down because like everything yeah. was taking forever to do something. Like let's oh, see if like it's on this board. Yeah, lag spike. Gotta love those. <clears throat> All right. So, um, so CJ got to ask a question. So that's everybody. So it's time to put in votes, starting with Stevie. Do you think this was the truth or a lie? Augie spoke a ton there. When he comes on our shows, having a chill show, he doesn't talk that much, which I believe. He, with all the detail and everything, that this is true. He just kept going, so I, I believe this is a true fact. B. Hmm. Okay. 
Uh, so one vote for truth. On to Z is eternal. Augie doesn't talk much, which <laughs> makes me think it might be a lie. Yeah, I'm I trying to cover up for the fact. But it seems like some weird thing that you know we might because we do have a quote unquote haunted place around here. Right. Mm. Right, but the, the the statement was that he's a professional, professional yeah. investigator, <laughs> which might just be my personal bias. It's uh, I kind of feel so, that too. <laughs> <laughs> I would go with false. I would say that he did all this stuff, but that it was for class, not like a professional. And the professional parts of the lie. Yeah, like, do you have a certificate? I, I can't ask you now. I, I Now I want to know. <laughs> uh, all right, so that's one vote for true, one vote for lie. Um, Is it just a Supernatural fan club badge? Like, <laughs> I mean, I, I, I just naturally trust Augie, but it's something <laughs> about... It, it, it is something about how much he talked that makes me think it was a lie. Like, it it was unusual. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah, right? like, like like thinking about throwing an egg. I mean, like he, like he was providing more detail than necessary. So I, 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 I and don't the know if this of is the wrong. Make me, uh, like either truth or lie. I feel he could say either one, and I would believe him equally. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's the problem. <laughs> uh, I, I'm gonna vote lie. So that's two votes for lie, one vote for truth. Uh, CJ, what do you think? I think the American education system is broken. <laughs> If he did get college credit, then he's telling the truth. Okay. Uh, so two votes for truth, two votes for lie. You're getting two points either way. Congratulations. Um, so uh, can you now tell us, remembering that if you're the blackened, you must reverse it. Was this the truth or was it a lie? Okay. Uh, assuming that the professional, uh, t like the professional uh, thing and that isn't what is binding you guys up on this, I, inde I indeed, in fact, take a paranormal investigation class, got college credit for it, conducted research, investigations, <laughs> and interviews. You are a professional, sir. Congratulations. <laughs> I so, can't even be mad about it. I, so in that fact, have, was, in fact, true. In fact, I still have all my stuff from it in my bookcase, right. including the written Did interviews. spend money everything. on college textbooks for paranormal investigation? <laughs> the state did. The state did. I didn't pay anything. What are you talking about? All right. So, all but right. yes, I, I technically can go on paranormal investigations. I have uh, credit for Augie it. Augie has two points uh, and is tied for the lead. Let's Believe move on. Oh, sorry, Z, what were you going to say? I still can't think if I believe he's telling the truth. Or I know. <laughs> well, he might be the black and he could be lying. We don't know. So, um, oh, it's true. So, I don't uh, know. Let's move on to Stevie. Stevie, we need your second statement, sir. Second statement. I once accidentally shot a police officer with a BB gun while my parents were gone and I was being babysat by my cousin. Well, cousin. There's a lot of details in that opening <laughs> statement there. That's uh, I think we can just generally shorten that to I once accidentally shot a police officer with a BB gun. Congratulations on still being alive. Thank you. Thank um, you. I am fine. Yeah. Was during the day. <laughs> yeah. Um all right. So I guess it's time to ask questions. We'll start with Z is eternal. What city did this take place in, or town? Like the current one we are presently in. I believe all of us are. Yes. Well, all not right. out here, but in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like where I grew up. <laughs> all right. Got fair you. enough. Um, uh, my turn. Um. <laughs> why? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> that's a very good question. I, I mean, got yelled at a lot afterwards. Even, believe me. even if, even if you're just playing around with BB guns, what possesses you to aim at a police officer? I mean, Easy E, Ice Cube, um, uh, um. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> 
<laughs> sorry, sorry. I couldn't help it. I couldn't help it. It was the eighties. Oh my god. <laughs> oh shit. I'm sorry. Um. Okay. So <laughs> what had happened was, as Augie would put it, uh, my parents were gone for the night, going somewhere. I was being babysat by. I say cousin. He's friend of the family's kid who was older. He was like. 18, 19, or something like that, and I was mm, 13, and an idiot. So I just got this awesome pump uh, BB gun that can use pellets too, and you can put like 50 BBs in it where you can individually do the pellets on the top. And you can pump it as much as you want, and this thing was awesome. And my dad used to keep it above the stairs to the basement because it'd be hard for me to get it because, you know, I'm short, and it was really high up. My cousin was tall. <laughs> so they left. We were just messing around for like an hour. He had some friends come over. We started talking. They saw the BB gun. I was like, oh, yeah, I know how to use it. I know where the BBs are. <laughs> Got it all together. Went out to the backyard. We're shooting at the garage. <laughs> so we're shooting at the garage, and the garage BBs are just, you know, well, I have a target up, whatnot, and it's hitting it, and, you know, whatever. Cool, we're checking it out, and the three of us are out there. And I have the gun in my hand at this point, and I'm shooting, shooting, and all I hear is, what in the F are you kids doing? And it's the next door neighbor, and he is a sheriff. So I turn around, not knowing what the hell's going on, hit the trigger, drop the gun, because, you know, he's there in his uniform, and I freak the F out. Hits him in the leg. You can't swear, by the way. Oh, yeah, cool. He freaked the fuck out, like, hardcore, <laughs> man, like, yelling. I can't even remember exactly what he said, but obviously he came running over, grabbed the pellet gun, BB gun thingy, yelling at us. But gets my cousin and me there, gets a story. He's babysitting me, tells his friends to run home, yelling at us more, calls my parents. They come, they leave early from their date. Dad's pissed. Sends him home. He like, deals with him some other time. The cop left or whatnot. The, the worst part was, my dad is saying, I'm so disappointed in you, in you, and you should have known better than that, you know? But, yeah, the whole thing, the BBs were ricocheting off the garage and hitting his house as he was sleeping because he's an overnight guy, and it was he was getting ready to go to a shift, and it woke him up. <laughs> so it hit, they kept hitting the window of his thing. He came out and then got hit when I dropped the gun. Well, before I dropped it. Actually... Yeah, I guess it was before I dropped it. Yeah, it was my fault. So, yeah, I shot him. Okay. So, yeah, I shot him. <laughs> uh, Augie, Augie. Yeah, I, I think you may have had the same thought that I had here, but let's yep. find out. What is your question for Stevie? Am I next? Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you are. Uh, no, sorry. CJ's next. That's all right. Yeah, let's see. I, I skipped CJ. My bad. That's all right. Metal or plastic BBs? Metal, the little round ones, and then the pellets were the ones that had the little flat end on it, and they were like mushrooms. You could put them in the top and click it closed. I I think that he had the BB gun, but I don't believe the story. I know I had the BB gun because I kept shooting it and I got in trouble. The, 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 the BB guns back then didn't have a safety release valve on it, and you could pump those things until you literally couldn't push it together. <laughs> yeah, you could. <laughs> it was awesome. God, I think it was awesome. <laughs> All right, now it's Soggy's turn. Did Z get to ask a question? Yeah, 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 to... yeah, Z started. Oh, okay. I asked where it took place. Mm -hmm. Oh. Ah. So, <laughs> um, like my question is, and I'm assuming this is Aaron's question as well, you mentioned that he came out in uniform, mm -hmm. but then you said he was asleep. Yeah, we woke him up. Well, I well one of us woke him up eventually. He probably saw us through the window and then got ready, probably to scare us, and came out in his uniform. So he was sleeping before work. Okay. Hmm? I don't know, dude. Cops are weird. <laughs> I mean, yeah, there. but <laughs> that's. I think the intimidation thing he was trying to pull off, which worked. I mean, being in uniform is way scarier than just some dude coming out in his fucking boxers. I mean, he got shot, though. I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, apparently didn't intimidate enough. I dropped the gun. Uh, all right. So uh, that's all four questions. It's time to vote, starting with Z is eternal. Do you think this was true or a lie? Hmm. I'm going to say lie. 
All right. One vote for lie. Uh, on to me. I am also going to vote lie. Uh, on to CJ. What do you think? I'd be really mad if we give him a bunch of points, but I think it's a lie too. All right. Three votes for lie. And <laughs> on to Augie. Is it going to be a clean sweep? Yeah, I think it's a lie. All right. Four votes for lie. So. This could be a big scoring round, or you could wind up with nothing. Uh, and remembering that if you're the black and you must reverse it, was this the truth or a lie? This was a very exaggerated lie. <laughs> um, not very exaggerated, actually. Very literally exaggerated. Short story, we didn't actually, I didn't drop the gun and shoot him. We were shooting at the garage, and it was ricocheting off and hitting the house, waking him up. That was it. But and he came out and yelled. But it didn't. It didn't hit him. No, I never shot at him. Never right? shot a cop. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, that would have been over real quick. Yeah, <laughs> holy crap! Those guns didn't have like orange tips on them back then either. Oh, no. oh, no. No. they look like hunting rifles. No. That's what they look like. They're fucked up. All right, so um, <laughs> zero <laughs> points for Stevie <laughs> this round, but uh, oh well. Uh, on to uh, Z is Eternal, your final second statement, sir. All right. Uh, this one is, I have spent time in bed with multiple females while in Europe. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, that's true, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, we, we all know how, how Z is Eternal do. Um, we all know how he do. Um... Hmm. Okay, I guess it's gotta start with me. Um, so can I can I just get a distinction? Uh, were you in bed with multiple females at the same time in Europe, or or was this you you you've been in bed with a female and then another female and then another female? And why are we saying females like like freaking Klingons, uh, <laughs> ladies, women, girls, whatever? Experience B. <laughs> uh, Z, can you just clear it up for me? The answer to that is yes. <laughs> yes, uh, yes, both. So, so you have had multiple, multiple women in bed with you at least one point in Europe. Multiple of the female in bed with us. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> all right so uh okay moving on uh next question goes to cj we, we spend entirely too much time together man uh, <laughs> <laughs> um yes let me ask this uh, what country were you in i was in spain spain Ooh. yeah, yeah. Ooh. actually all right sounds nice <laughs> okay, and then uh, Augie's next with a question. Oh, CJ took my. Uh, were you at a at a hotel? Like I was at a hotel. Okay. So where is it like hotels? Yes. <laughs> I do not own property in Spain. <laughs> no, I thought you were. I thought you, you were. Not on on you. On. No, I thought you were Come hanging on. out at like a pen pal's yeah. house or something. He, you know. he was at his parents' <laughs> villa in France, like in Spain. We all know how it goes. Uh, you know right. how we do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. On to Stevie for the last question. Okay, how did this trip come about? How did this trip come about? Um, since we're not saying city names. I am a classically trained musician, and I was on tour with a certain organization for a number of, well, like two weeks over in Spain. Hmm. Okay. All right. That is all the questions we get, so uh, it's on to me to vote, and I am going to say true. I think this is true. I mean, no, nobody asked the circumstances under which he spent time in bed with the person. No, I think we know the I, circumstance. I, 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 I'm, 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 I'm literally not going to push, and I, I don't want to. So uh, to, let's. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to say true and move on with my life. Speaking of which, it is CJ's turn to vote truth or lie. What do you think? It's true. Two votes for true. On to Augie. Truth or lie? What do you think? I yeah, I I could see Z doing this. This is true. 
Three <laughs> votes for true. Wow. Everybody's seeing Z being the big. What, what, what's making me mad is Aaron's going to get an alibi card for this. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe. We'll see. Um, Stevie, what do you think? I don't know. I I have a feeling parts of it are true, but I think he's trying to throw us off. I really do. I think I think he's trying to play us up a little bit, guys. So I might I'm not going against y'all. I'm on the same team, except for you black and y'all. I'll we'll find you at some point here. But I'm gonna have to go with the opposite here. I'm I'm gonna say he's a lie. Okay, three votes for truth, one vote for a lie. So uh, remembering, of course, that if you are the blackened, you must reverse it. Was this the truth or a lie, Z? This was the truth. Ah, okay. Well done on giving him one point, Stevie. Stevie, <laughs> Stevie, <laughs> Stevie hands out the point. Stevie was Stevie thought that I was throwing you guys a little bit. Mm. Like I feel Aaron did some things happen that didn't happen. It was yeah. literally just choking back. No, yeah, yeah. That, that's pretty much. Yeah, what no, I that's that's yeah, what that's, I. That's, that's that, I knew that I, was the case. But yeah, I was there just was like, to be honest, but before you said that you'd done it as a musician, I assumed you had gone to some sort of cosplay thing and you just all shared a room. And I'm <laughs> cosplay like, in Spain. That'd I'm be awesome. like, I, I I know the people you hang with. I'm pretty sure y'all just slept in the bed, and it's not a big deal. <laughs> um, so anyway, uh, in any event. So uh, that's uh, that's everybody's statements taken care of. It's time to hand out alibis if alibis can be won. So I'm going to switch back over to gameplay here. So okay. the I think it's the two biggest scores for five players in <laughs> round two. Yep. Because I don't see any. What, sorry, what was What's that? that? I don't see any scores on this board. Which oh is what yeah, I was no, learning. I, I, I'm writing. I'm writing them down. They're, yeah, no, we've been, we've been keeping a tally. Yeah, we we could have put score counters on the table if we wanted to or thought to do so, but I just didn't really give a crap. All right, so the two highest scores of the round are me and Augie. So uh, we are both going to draw a card from this rapidly shuffled deck. Uh, and remember, just to hover your hand over it and press the one key to draw a card, and then Augie, you may do the same. All right, if you are spotless and you have an alibi, you may now reveal it. If you have an alibi and you're blackened, you must pretend it is blank, and if it is blank, you just leave it in your hand. And uh, again, if you're spotless and it's blank, just say it's blank and leave it in your hand. And uh, I will start by saying I got a blank card. There's nothing on it. So Really? Augie? <laughs> I've Augie, got a blank card. You have a blank. Oh. All right, oh. so... Either both of the alibi cards wound up in this deck of three, or uh, one of us is lying. That's, in any event, mm. we are not allowed to know. Nobody gets an alibi. Everybody could be the blackened as we go into the okay. third and final round. We're How all many going... blackened are there? There's just one. There's just one. And our goal is now to find him. The third and final round is, uh, is you know, the, 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 the final debate. We're all going to, you know, give talk briefly about who we think might be the blackened and why. And uh, this is going to be informal. There's no real rules, but uh, after we're effectively done, we will uh, we'll s we'll let everybody give a final defense, and then everybody will vote, and then we'll see who wins. So, does anybody would anybody like to begin? Now, well, I... first, we, if if we're basing it off personal knowledge, should we like just disregard that? Uh, well, I mean, no, if, if, if you know for a certainty that something somebody said was true and they claimed it was true, that means you know they're spotless. You can vouch for them. It just means they did a poor job of picking a thing that people didn't already know about them. <laughs> <laughs> but that does help the spotless out. So um, I, I genuinely don't know who the black is oh izzy's tardis has given us a host thank you very much izzy's much Hello. appreciated hi izzy's yes new Hello. people izzy's we're playing my dang and rumpa game so it's a little different um but it's mostly social so when when we do the arguments that's what i'm gonna, just gonna have all our cams up because it's easier that way there's not a lot of play on the board here so uh, we had just done all our statements we've, we've we've tried to figure out whether they were truth or lies now it's the final step we got to find the blackened and vote them out. So um, uh, I asked again, uh, I asked before, did anybody want to start? I, I, I can't start because I have no concrete feelings one way or the other. I am I, legitimately lost. I'm not <laughs> pretty sure know who the blackened is. 
You have yeah. an idea? Is there anyone you you'd like to accuse? I would like to accuse Chris. Chris? Really? You hurt my feelings. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, why do you why do you think that? Why do you think that? I don't think you spent the night in prison. I can't remember that part. But you making a shiv in prison, hundred percent. Sounds too true, right? Sounds too true. <laughs> <laughs> so you you're hmm. saying the shiv in prison actually did happen and he lied about it not happening. Yes. That's interesting. See, I it didn't is. I didn't get that because I genuinely thought it was a lie. I could I could be wrong, but yeah. Um, you yeah, might, you might know him better. Um, the one person I was ad- like most confused about was Stevie, to be honest. I did too, but I'm, I'm sketchy on you too, Aaron. He, he no, got, no offense. He, he got the most points in the first round. So uh, three of us were wrong about him. Which, yeah. Which or made, were we, which, or were we right? Which made me think that maybe we were right. But at the same time, his second one I was right about, so I'm like, I don't know. Yeah. And Augie yeah. was kind of 50-50, so I legitimately don't know for sure whether he's telling the truth or not, and I have no, I have no idea. I think I think Augie's innocent. I I'm, think it's pretty amazing that Aaron's not even considering CJ. I, I'm actually considering Aaron. I'm surprised he's not considering me either. You know, it 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 was the ship thing. It was it was the second <laughs> statement. I, I legitimately I legitimately believe you're spotless, but I I don't know. Z might be right. Z might know something I don't. I don't. I, unfortunately, I know Z really well, and and <laughs> come on, guys, it's... I'm not that boring. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, I, I can trust him. Aaron's but... is pretty close to being there. The play yeah. thing's got me still, even though I, I mean, guess. That's where I that's where I fall through too. But I feel kind of that way about your your first one too, Steve. So nice. I mean that's I yeah. Mean, I feel like everybody, everybody <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> <not. laughs> so me personally, what happened? I would definitely have like several days, but since there's only could be one, right? The right. same thing. What's really like? Is so it, you what you're saying is you remember me telling you that story is what you're saying? Yes. Okay. Hmm. But so my thing is. Good. Because <laughs> we Sorry. have a lot of drug fruit stories. This is true. So my thing is, I vouch for Aaron in this case because even though I never seen like the plays that the that play was in or anything like that, I remember doing a lot of improv funny stuff with him back in the day. <laughs> So him going through stuff like that, it, I wouldn't put it past him. <laughs> I don't know. I am forced to watch horrible plays. I can see that happening. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I, have I, you I, seen I, some of the stuff, improv I, stuff we used to do back in the day? Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, some of it was pretty awful. Um, as as to the the people getting forced to see it, I seem to recall it was mostly families of people who were in all of the shows because because <laughs> each, each show had. Yeah, each each like, show I had a different this? cast. My parents, my parents literally came to see everything I was in, regardless. Even though I told them not to come to the stick one. <laughs> I would have invited you to Thanksgiving after that. I was like, no, you just stay at school. I don't no, come home. no, it was awful. I want to believe, but it just seems so impossibly dumb. <laughs> that was my life. <laughs> I actually had to go through it. So yeah. It, it, yeah. And knowing the stupid things that theater people have to go through, like I can see, yeah. you know, yeah. a stick. There's a there's a very you know popular, I guess, quote unquote popular play that went around about a woman just monologuing about being a vagina. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's fair. That's fair. I don't know. It just it seems so absurdly silly. Um, I don't know. I, I don't think it's Augie, but I, I he didn't have an alibi card, and neither did Aaron. That he's just that, mad because I, I got wanted one college I credit really, for being a terrible really, investigator. Really one. <laughs> would the, if, the, if the Blackens had an alibi card, would they would they use it or no? No, no they they have to pretend it's blank. They're not allowed to right. have an alibi. So it's yeah. possible for any of those three to have an alibi alibi card and be the black. What about you? I don't have a card. Yeah, he never he never got a card. Oh, yeah. yeah, right. I see that, that doesn't that, nece- that doesn't necessarily mean he's not the <laughs> right. blackhead. Yeah, he never matter. got a card. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
It means I'm not lying about the card that I have. Yeah. And uh, like some people. there there was only a 20% chance that Augie would, or that Stevie would get a card in the first round. Right. There were right. two alibi cards and three blanks in the second round. So it is right. possible for us both to have gotten blanks. It is, but the probability. But... Now, yeah. now I'm like unsure. Yeah. Yeah, thank All you. Right. Thank you. All right. So we, we've done a lot of conjecture. <laughs> Um, so now everybody gets like a last 30 seconds to either defend yourself or accuse someone else. It's up to you. Uh, and then everybody's going to vote. Uh, so, um, we will start with, I guess we might as well start with me. Um, okay. I don't have anyone to accuse cause I legitimately don't know who it is. <laughs> um, but I, I, I can only defend myself. Who do you myself. know it's not? <clears throat> who do I know it's yeah. not? Yeah, that, that's okay. That eliminates things for us. Uh, I I feel like I can eliminate Z. I, I think Z is eternal I agree. was telling the truth all the way, and I think Z is eternal is not the black end. It is one of us four. Yeah. I know it's not me, so that leaves the three of you. And among the three of you, I legitimately can't <laughs> pick. Clearly, I didn't murder anyone. <laughs> I legitimately can't pick which one of you, if if I had to, if someone put a gun to my head and said, who is it? <laughs> uh, it my, my gut initially said Stevie, but when both of us I got a blank... I, I started to suspect Augie. So the the uh, one the one person who I am less likely to suspect is CJ, oddly enough. No one expects the good guy. That's right. <laughs> I, I see see you're 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 right. you're addressing the probability. Yeah, that's that's my time. I can't go on. So uh, next okay. person in line, CJ, would you like to accuse someone or defend yourself? I I don't think it's C, because I just know him too well. Um <laughs> I don't think it's Augie, but you just threw shade at him for exactly why I think it's you. To throw him off, right? Uh, I, that, that's all I got. I mean, I, I don't, I don't know. It, it's either Steve or Aaron. That's all I got. Why, why me? <laughs> I'm just here. I'm here for the fun. I'm here to play yeah. stuff. All right. It's, it's Steve or Aaron. All right, so uh, let's move along to the next person. Augie, you've got 30 seconds to either defend yourself or accuse someone else. Okay, I don't think it's Z. Uh, I honestly don't think it's you, Aaron. Interesting. It's, it's, it's a 50-50 between Steve and CJ. I'm Ooh. leaning more towards Steve. Just because he got really wordy with that second one. Mm. His cousin he, who's not... He, a he talks, don't get me wrong, he likes to talk. Yeah. But, but so you think it actually happened? It was a lot of you, you, it was a lot of bullshittery coming out of his mouth. I think. Okay. <laughs> so you you think he actually did shoot a sheriff who lived next door? No, not necessarily. He just kind of something along the lines of his first one, the swimming one, mm. is what I'm hooked up on. Yeah. That's the Might one that, be a lapse in my bothered, own memory. That's the one that but, bothered me too, and it could be yeah. my memory messing up as well. So I don't, yeah. <laughs> I legitimately can't say. But anyway, I'm leaning more towards Steve. Okay, so you've made your opinion known, uh, Stevie. It's your turn. You've got 30 seconds to defend yourself or accuse someone else. Okay, fair enough. Uh, first of all, yeah, I can't. I, I still am not great at swimming. I'm horrible at it. If you watch me actually try to swim, I'm more, almost always holding on to something or touching something on the ground. I can't swim that well. Um, that's why I don't go to parks aside from the burning because, you know, the ball of fire in the sky in my fair, fair, beautiful skin. Um, <laughs> what part do you swim at? <laughs> don't now. It's scary. <laughs> um, uh, the other thing is, uh, from all the notes I have taken throughout the entire show, because, again, I'm trying to make this yeah, as professional as I possibly could. Yeah, uh, Z, I I'm pretty sure you're not the black end. Um, it's pretty hard right now. Uh it's it's difficult between Aaron, a little bit of Augie and CJ still. Um, and that's where I'm kind of torn. But I'm having I'm pulling towards more Aaron, and I hate doing this to him because I really wanted to be on his side for this because you know we're a team in life. But <laughs> in my notes, and I wanted to say sorry, Aaron. I I think you are the blackened, but 
<laughs> Ezra, awesome. Love BFYTW. Uh-huh. So I just uh, wanted to say. Huge. Yeah, that's not going to save you, buddy. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> All right. Uh, last but not least, Z is eternal. Is there someone you would like to accuse or would you like to defend yourself? I'm I'm leading toward Chris just because of a memory of a previous story told. Mm. <laughs> but I'm also kind of if there were two, I would pick Aaron as the second one. <laughs> yeah. But I gotta go with Chris as the primary and since you said there's only one. There is only one. I gotta go with Chris. There's a lot of accusations going around here. Yeah, but <laughs> there are a lot like, of a lot of finger pointing. That's the name like... of the game, right? Seems like Prefer- nobody has a real clear solidified right. point either way. So, uh, so we're gonna do the votes now. We're gonna go one at a time and just say who you're voting for, and that's it. Like, don't explain why. Don't you know? You don't have. Should to we should we throw it on an index card on the board and flip them all, or how do you wanna? I mean, that that, that that would be more dramatic, but I haven't actually planned for it. So let's let it, let, we'll just do it the same way we did it in the podcast. Just okay. just say the name of the person you're voting for. Um. We'll start with me. <laughs> Harder than you thought. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> just one vote. Yeah. I know. Can I get two? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Can and I get we're, four? <laughs> we're, we're, we're going by pure majority here. If there's a tie, then we, with the person who is not in the tie, we'll have to break it. So, um, I'm going to vote for Stevie. Do it. Damn it. <laughs> or no. I I can't vote for myself and I wouldn't. I'm spotless. So. <laughs> that would be kind of weird. <laughs> so, uh on to CJ. CJ, who are you going to vote for? Aaron. All right. One vote for me, one vote for Stevie. On to Augie. Augie, who are you going to vote for? Steve. Oh. two votes for stevie one vote for me back to stevie who are you gonna vote for as if i have to ask sorry brother aaron oh um, my okay oh, two my. votes for each of us z you have to break the tie z um, you've always wanted to execute somebody this is your opportunity we make dreams come <laughs> true here on masters of boredom <laughs> break the tie <laughs> So, I need the guillotine. <laughs> I'm gonna go with this is hard. I'm yes, gonna go is. with Amber. Oh. oh, oh crap! Congratulations, Blackened. Um, so I'm gonna. Uh, now that I've I've lost uh, the game, I've I've been given the majority of the votes. I now have to reveal my card, and I will reveal to everybody on the table that I was yeah, indeed to it, spotless. Yeah. Oh, and oh I, my God. Had, I had exactly gotten a blank, gotten card. A blank card. So blackened, whoever you are, can you put your blackened card on the table and reveal? Ah! Mm. <laughs> damn it! Uh... Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! I was so <laughs> close. <laughs> I was gonna pick I, CJ. I too. almost I voted for you instead, and I just couldn't do it. Oh, well done. Well done, CJ. I, well done. It's been so long since yeah. I told the prison story that I forgot I told Dave the prison story. <laughs> <laughs> that was. I did. I did indeed spend the night in prison, carve a shiv out of toothbrush, and. Oh my God. Yeah. I told you, scouts are weird, man. We have, like, personal knowledge of the validity of something. Like... <laughs> <laughs> it, was like, it was like your story's too, Z. I mean, I, I, I knew. We, we'd already had those talks. <laughs> We've known wow. each other for so long. For far too long. So he um, very cleverly got me and Stevie to turn against each other. Yes, yes, we and did. And just kept himself out of it. Well done. Of well done. Congratulations, Stevie, uh, CJ, on a game very well played. The rest, time, of, the rest of us lost, unfortunately. I You're did here. not. I did not actually ride a shopping cart down the hill or get busted by the police. <laughs> that happened. I got busted rollerblading down a hill, and the police took my skates and dropped me back off at home. <laughs> <laughs> so my my question is: If I had stuck to my guns and not decided to break a tie, it, I still would have won. I, I would have. Yeah. I would have had because to. Have, I would have had to have forced you to change your vote because 
we can't that's have what a I tie. Thought. Yeah, yeah, that's what I figured. Yeah, no, you stick to your convictions, man. You were right. Yeah. You, you uh, and I know each other yeah. for way too long. If, if I, 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 I was 50-50 between Stevie and CJ, and I just... Uh... That's what I was at with you two. I was like, it's either Aaron or CJ, and I can't tell because both of their stories could be swapped easily. And I'm just like, oh, this is really difficult. Yeah. I want... Uh, listen, we're, Masters of Board need to put on a production of The Stick. <laughs> I need to see this in action. I can reveal this is a real play. I, I googled it in a, a moment between all the stories. It's, it's called The Man Who Turned Into The Stick. It's a one-act play written in 1957. Um, it's a real play. It is meant to symbolize the different stages of life usually shown together. The first representing birth is the suitcase. I don't remember that. But... <laughs> It is a real play. It actually happened. I had to pretend to be a stick for three Whoever the director was really yeah. loved like one segment of that play really bad. <laughs> so, so, oh. It is a genuine real thing, and if you Google it, it is it is real. You will see it. <sighs> to break the tie, the reason I went for Aaron was that slight slim chance that you did that like yes, right. it was in a stupid play, but I wasn't a stick, I was a tree. Something yeah, like, right. Yeah, right. something like that. Oh, I was, hey. I was yeah. the park bench. Blood like, Wolf, fifty. I remember wrong. Cheered some bits at us. A hundred bits to CJ for the sheer deception play. Yes. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. It's been an interesting life. <laughs> well done. Congratulations to CJ on winning the game, and now the rest of us unfortunately have to be executed. So yes, yes. Say, Sorry about your loss. Say goodbye. Uh, say goodbye to your loved ones, just real quick. No. Finally. Uh, <laughs> finally. <laughs> I, I love how the the youngest of us is so world weary that he's ready to just go. He's like this is done. We're done. <laughs> I've spent my time. Let me be released. Oh <laughs> my god! All right. Well, I'm... I want to. I want to thank Stevie and Zia's Eternal for coming by and playing. Yes. With us. Thank you so yeah. much, guys. Some of this could not have happened without you guys. Unfortunately, the game requires a minimum of five players to play. So yeah. But, Good scrum job. I but, get it. But, <laughs> I, but you played really well. Uh, yeah. I legitimately thought it was you. So. <laughs> That's fair. Hey. <laughs> so did I. Uh, I honestly must have had a lapse in my memory because I distinctly remember that day, but must have been something else. We didn't start hanging out until after high school. Know that even if you know the people really well, you can still mess up, not, not so much mess up the game, but you can still yeah. lose the game yep. if everyone's memories aren't the same. Yeah. yeah. But exactly. I, I genuinely feel good about this, though, because we have played this game twice, and the first game, the spotless one, and the second game, the blackened one. So I like that it can go either way. <laughs> yeah. uh, and it's not too heavily weighted towards one side or the other, but... Yeah. Yeah, I'd love to. I'd love to play this with more people. Honestly, I'd like to give this yeah, a shot. I would love to try it with ten, but I mean, that's going to be crazy to set up. That would be nuts. That that would be we'd have to get something set up for that. What's that? We'll do it around the campfire. Would there be more blackened with more people, or would it still just be the one? It would still just be the one, but oh. there are more mm -hmm. alibi cards in play to even things out. So it's more likely that someone will eliminate themselves by revealing that they're spotless. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, much more oh. likely. Uh, What's that? Question. If there's an alibi card out, do they still participate in the accusations and stuff? Yeah, yeah. You just can't vote for them because they're not the blackened. Right. right. Okay. So, yeah. Cool. yeah, you're yeah, just the more alibi voted out. out. Yeah. That's yep. interesting. Yeah. They're so, guaranteed in a. Yeah. That'd be yeah. fun. I would like to play for that if you guys are ever needing more people and or Stone Age at some point. <laughs> Stone Age. Yes, we will play Stone Age. Please. Uh, it's please, on the list. Please. But awesome. uh, uh, yeah, thanks guys for coming out, and you're more than welcome to join us for any other any other uh, game stream if you'd like. And we'll have to put together a Stone Age game just for you, Steve, uh, Steve, oh. Stevie. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so that was a lot of fun. I'm glad we got to do it, and I'm glad it was such a good game, man. Uh <laughs> that was fun. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> now, we're, now we all know a little bit more about each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah a little know. bit more. It's going to be harder Better to play worse. this game over and over again. It gets harder and harder to think of things your friends don't already know. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it is a good way of, like... Oh, I'm sorry. I can put my card in someone else's hand, and now I can't get it back. Oh, it's I'm fine. Not... The, the game is <laughs> over. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> I know, but... Oh, I just, like, oh, my card! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh god! Oh, oh god! I, I no one gets anything. What, what people are doing? They're throwing cards everywhere. Did somebody put all the cards <laughs> in Z's hand. Anyway, whatever. You, you guys are nuts. Now everybody try to flip the table. Go! 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 All right. Yeah.
I better end I this before it gets too insane. Uh, thanks to everybody who came out and hung out. Blood Wolf, Izzy's Tardis, uh, Orihuela, thank you, Caroline, for coming out. That's awesome. Yes, um, thank you so much. So appreciative. I hope you hope you enjoyed it. Um, and uh, everyone else who came out who just hung out. Silent One, of course, can't forget Silent One. And Fainting mm -hmm. Taint was here for a little while. So thanks Woo! for showing up, Fainting Taint. Always love seeing you. And everybody else who came out and just lurked, uh, we appreciate seeing you as well. You, you're Absolutely. still trying to flip the table, CJ. Just give it up. No. It's, it's not flipping. It's not, <laughs> it's not happening. It's <laughs> uh thanks to everybody who came by we'll be back on thursday for shadow run uh yeah. campaign continues yeah. as we attempt to take down a, a heist on a on a cruise ship by the seat of our pants we'll see how that goes but that's gonna be on thursday and then next sunday we'll be back to regular old board games but for tonight thanks for coming take care of yourselves and we will catch you guys next time have a good one bye bye